Just a, a quick video on uh, the uh, Mexican Classic Player series. I've got a uh, a couple of guitars from that series. Uh, the Sonic Blue Rosewood fretboard and the Maple fretboard on the Telecaster. The uh, interesting thing about these guitars is they're kind of medium level priced about half the the cost of a, a US standard um, Strat or Tele. I mean, pretty amazing guitars really. Um, so much cheaper than the US made models, the Mexican made models. But these are the classic player series, uh, old styling, the old style um, tuning pegs there. Uh, the amazing thing about this particular series, I personally think they're probably the best Mexican guitars that you can buy, Fender guitars that you can buy at the moment. US pickups, I particularly like the uh, Sonic Blue, lovely guitar and uh, classic player telly here. Uh, it's got an interesting configuration of uh, switching in that it's got four-way switch and then it's got the SI switch there that gives you kind of a humbucker sound. Uh, but uh, again, nice pickups. Really nice neck on it. Old style tuners. Um, the, the one thing that I don't, I'm not overly keen on is the the actual uh, truss rod adjustment screw is at that part of the neck instead of being at the top. It just makes it more difficult to get out. You need to take off the scratch plate. But as I say, these these guitars are are pretty stunning for the cost. They, they re, they're retailing now for probably around about the eight hundred pound mark in the UK. Just you know, personally, I, I you know you've got the Fender branding on these. Okay, they're not made in the US, but certainly in the Fender factory in in uh, Mexico, Ensenada. You know they're they're really making an effort with these guitars. You know the the, the uh, frets are extremely well finished. You can see the uh, neck plate there with the Fender Custom Shop design. This particular model is, or well, this particular guitar is a really good model. It's not got a mark on it, really been well looked after from the uh, from the uh, <coughs> the ID serial number there. I can work out that it's a 2009 model, as is uh, the Telecaster. Again, you can always identify these easily because these are custom Oh, these are classic player, they've got the Fender Custom Shop um, plate, neck plate. Again, you can tell from the serial number here, first digit is 9, so it's a 2009 model as well. So, yeah, uh, both of these uh, guitars I bought second hand as, as trades uh, and they've been look well looked after. So, let's, uh, let's have a a quick strum and see what they sound like. We'll have a go on the. We we'll go on the strap first. Get a bit of volume. Just a uh, no particular effects on this guitar. 
going into a clean sound. players really do um, compete well with American made guitars, obviously the cheaper labour costs in Mexico, uh, and make a big difference to the end cost. But the care and attention is the important thing, and uh, you certainly get that with the, cl the classic player. Guitars. It's really, in my opinion, not worth spending twice the money uh, that you'd pay for one of these for uh, just to say it's made in USA. Classic player series. This is the Strat and the Telecaster. Got uh, American parts, pickups, the ashtray, uh, and as I say, there's the detail is second to none on the, the finishing of the the frets. As an example, really nice weight, not too heavy. Uh, so yeah, if you're in the market for an inexpensive, relatively inexpensive uh, Fender, then I'd heartily recommend the Mexican Classic Player series. Hope you like this video.